Welcome to AppStyleTress. How to send emails from localhost using XAMPP. Often we have to work with localhost before site migration to live server. Let's say you're working with WordPress or WooCommerce or any other complex system and you have to check emails and email templates and stuff. But you are at localhost and localhost needs configuration to send emails. I have created a tutorial earlier where I've demonstrated that how can we send emails from WordPress while we are working at localhost that involved smtp we used xamp server for smtp we used a gmail account but now the less secure app access setting is no longer available for gmail from may 30 2022 google no longer supports the use of third-party apps or devices which ask you to sign in to your google account using only username and password so this is our wordpress based website at localhost contact let's try email submit error so emails are not being sent from localhost we used smtp to get a different smtp we just need an email address other than gmail so first we will get the SMTP from our own email address and then we will fix XAMPP SMTP configuration. SMTP is used to set up email for local email client. Using SMTP you can receive emails in your PC in email client. You don't have to log into email provider in web browser to check your emails. SMTP is also used to send emails securely and to avoid email to land in spam folder. Like if I have a website, it will send emails to customers and viewers, right? If I want to make sure for email to land in inbox and not in junk folder or spam folder, I will have to use SMTP to ensure reliable email delivery. So SMTP is important. If you have a website, then you have email address also, right? You will have to check email settings to find out SMTP information. So let's get the SMTP information from our web host. I have cPanel, so I will log into cPanel. After login, this is my cPanel. So go to email accounts from email section, click check email for required email address, and add this page that asks you to select email client to view email. Scroll down and look for other web mail features. There we have configure mail client. Click add it. And here we have mail client manual settings. For SMTP, you need SMTP mail server. That will be outgoing server mail.yourdomain.com. You will need email address that you already know, email password that you already have, and SMTP port that is shown here. These are SMTP settings SMTP mail server, email address, password, and SMTP port. Get these information from here. We can use these settings in email client or anywhere where SMTP information is needed. And this is how we can get SMTP information from our web host, in my case from cPanel. Now that we have got the SMTP settings, let's configure SMTP in XAMPP. Go to XAMPP installation directory from your PC. In my case, I have installed XAMPP in C drive. XAMPP. Go to PHP folder. This is the PHP folder. Here, search for php.ini it's a file php.ini open it in code editor here search for smtp so these are the smtp settings smtp smtp port send mail from this is the email this is your email change it to your email address change smtp port here and change smtp server also make sure this path is correct send mail path this is path for the send mail dot exe in your system see xamp send mail folder send mail dot exe i will link this path in description after you have changed these go back to xamp go to send mail folder and here open send mail dot ini file in code editor here again search for smtp so this is smtp server change this value change this smtp port and here for auth username type your email address here and type your password here so here you will need email address and password smtp port and smtp server 
make sure you have done these. After that, open XAMPP control panel, stop MySQL, stop Apache, restart both services, reload the page. Let's try now. Submit. Email sent. This is the email that we received. So email is being sent. And the bottom line is just use a different SMTP if you are unable to use SMTP from Gmail. If you have a website, log into your web host, get SMTP information, use your own SMTP settings. If you are working for a client, ask his SMTP settings from him. If you are at a job, ask your manager or boss to provide clients SMTP details and the problem is solved. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.